What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are working on the Bronco. Now if you've seen my Br Bronco recently you know that we had the bodyguard spare tire spare tire delete on there and well I've been running that for a while. It's getting winter time. I uh, have some longer road trips coming up and I figure it's time to go ahead and put the spare back on there. I do have like the spare repair kit but it's always in the back of my head now, especially if I'm further away from home and get into a situation where a patch just isn't going to work or it's not going to be a good long-term solution and I don't want to have to go hundreds, if not more, miles on a repaired tire, which tailgate reinforcement this turn off-road reinforcement bracket. I've seen this one, I've seen it the way it's installed, and I was like, yeah, that's the best one that I have seen on the market, in my opinion. You're installing new hinges, very beefy hinges, and this bracket, and then your rear door is actually attaching to that. You don't even need to run the rear door, you could still just have that reinforcement with your spare on there. And it would hold without any issues. I'm already sold on this tailgate reinforcement, but I actually want to use it. Uh, so and then have it available to show other people that yes, this is how it works. This is how it holds up. Give it a long-term review. Um, but yeah, it is available on the site. I'll put a link down in the description down below if you want to check it out. But uh, enough of the me babbling. Let's go and get this installed. Now my tailgate looks a little bit different than yours probably will when you're starting this project. And like I said, that's because I have the spare tire delete on there. And uh, you more than likely have something that looks a lot more like that installed. If you're not sure how to take this apart and take the wiring and everything apart, I'll link to an older video I did when I originally put the spare tire delete on there because I took this apart, took that off the Bronco, and did everything. So that'll break down how to get your Bronco to this state. To remove the wiring for your taillight and for your rear camera. Now one thing in that video that has caused some confusion and I've had some questions about is actually removing the camera. There is this piece inside of there and it slides in there like that. Now that looked like it slid in there nice and easy and slid right out. It's it's glued or something from factory or just compression fit. I don't know exactly how it's held in, but there are a couple of screws on the outside that will need to be removed. And then you have to get under and pry this out and it'll eventually it'll pop loose. Now, this is the non Sasquatch and it's a little bit easier to get. Uh, the tube's a little bit shorter on the Sasquatch. It's even, that's got a longer tube. It's even harder to get out. And you're going to think that you're breaking this and it feels like you're doing something wrong. But that is what you have to do is kind of pry up on each side as much as you can. And this will eventually slide out. And then your camera is connected in here. Uh, in case you go back and watch that video and it's not super clear, that all being said, we should be up to speed now. We're to the point. We've got our door stripped down. We've got our wire harness loose. And on the back side of the door, also my door is a little bit different, but we have this plastic panel that's normally on there. You pull it from this side, these will pop out and this will come out and then normally you'll have a plastic piece that goes across there 
same thing just pull the bottom out first and then it should pop out and hide that i'd have the speaker box that's normally there so i've had to take that out now the reason we want to expose all this it's because we're taking we're going to take this entire door off so to do so we need to pull this harness out of here so first things first on the back side of this there's two plastic clips that you could push in you see here there's these clips and so you're going to pull those through, and then we want to feed, feed this entire thing back through the door like so. And then you can pull that through. And now we have a couple of clips in here. Right here, there's a clip. You just push the back side of it there, and it should slide off. And then, I don't know if you can see up there, but it's actually... The top side of this door handle there's a little connector up there which similarly let me pull this off and I'll show you the so it sits on top of there just like that push that and it'll pull off and now we've got a couple of clips in here and we're just gonna pop those out and there's a couple more up along here as well all right so there's three there's this wire loom here and it's got this christmas tree taped into it and then there's these two connectors here connectors are a little harder to get out and they can actually stay in there and these will just slide on so you can either try to pry that out or you can pry this clip up and slide that out. Now along here you'll have these Christmas trees which will be plugged in somewhere along here. Mine were already out and then we can just pull all of this right out. So, we have the entire wiring harness just pulled back to the door. Now, normally I would say go ahead and try to prop and position the door. My door's been off a couple of times and it's out of whack, out of position anyway. And I also have this body lift, so, and this body lift spacer. So again, your mileage may be a little different. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that locked. I'm going to come over here, undo these four. And the paint on these is pretty brittle, so it could easily chip if you're not careful. Everything else that we took off is bolted directly onto the tailgate. There's... It's the tailgate itself that is supporting your spare tire. And this, as you will see as we take this apart, is not an incredibly strong... You've got those four bolts that attach everything here. And the only thing holding it on is some net certs inserted inside of aluminum panel and that's it so you're trusting your spare tire to that piece of aluminum attached by these four bolts inside some net cert inside of that and then these two hinges and take a look at the difference between that base and this base and then that pin going this pin going through versus 
that bolt. So the hinges themselves are extremely upgraded. And then, like I said, the aluminum's no longer supporting anything. This bracket is what's supporting your tire. It's what's supporting your tailgate or anything else that you put on it. You're relying on this steel boxed in, welded. In order to get to these hinges, we've got a couple of 10 millimeter bolts to pull out and a couple of pins. So let's go ahead and get those out of there. And once we have all the fasteners out, this little insert will just pull right out of there. And now we could see where our hinges are. Now, before I take those off, I'm going to go ahead and mark those. Mark where those currently sit. And yep, so then we just have four 13 millimeter bolts to take off. Instead of just having these little bars, you have this entire structure that's connected to the hinge. All right, so we got these stops. They're going to face out, outwards, and we're just going to reuse the bolts that we took off. So these are kind of tilted one way or the other. And when installed on the correct one, will sit vertical. Which again, just uses the stock hardware there. Right, now, if these aren't straight on on there correctly then we're going to have trouble when it comes time to putting the rest of the gate on there so we'll see how well we did our new hinges are these quite large bolts gonna have a washer on top go through washer on the bottom and then large nylock nut this would be easier to do with a second pair of hands for sure. Let me sit. All right, so we got the bottom one in. Somewhat enough that we can Hopefully, All right, now that we had those a little bit loose, All right, so then finally got that on. Then we got the washer and the bolt. And you see we've got the stops here. So that'll prevent your door from going too far open. And this thing is heavy duty. It's uh, not even tightened yet and it's already I mean, this is sturdier without that even being tightened yet than that door has ever been. This here is now your door. Everything else is an accessory to this door. And if you felt like it, you could make a little extension there. To, so you have something like a tube door for your tailgate if you really wanted to. 
which might be kind of cool if you're in an area that you're running with the top off and tube doors and then you have that so it keeps things from rolling out but closes maybe turn maybe that's an accessory turn off road can make is just a little piece that bolts onto this and adds a latch there to latch that but i digress that's not what we're here talking about all right so i went ahead messed with this a little bit and made sure these were lined up to my original marks and went ahead and tightened these down no Now, if you shimmed your door before taking it apart, this would be easier. But, like I said, my door wasn't perfect to start with, so we're kind of starting from scratch and trying to find the best spot for it. Putty spreaders and different things that we could try to stick under there. All right, so after fighting with it, I believe we're about as equally spaced around everywhere that we can so hopefully when we close that and it looks like I do double check our spaces here yes so now we have these holes here here here, 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 here. All right, our door's in position. We're about to attach everything, but before we do, we do have this piece of foam right on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed first, and then we can get this all completed. As we go. Yeah, that's going to give a nice seal up against the tailgate. So it's also not metal against metal rubbing and scratching up your paint. So if you ever do decide to take this off, it's your tailgate's not going to be all scratched up. Now that the foam's in place, we could close this. And we'll see one, two, three, four, five six seven there should be eight factory bolts that we took off in my case was holding the delete on on your case would be holding this on the bolts that go here these and they should hopefully line right up over here all right now we got these bolts in and they're snug we need to get our hinge bolts that we took off earlier and we're going to reinstall those as well. All right, got everything snug down. I'm gonna remove my shims and everything and hopefully looks a little Looks like we're a little low on this side. Yeah, seems like this side should be able to come up a little bit. So everything I just snugged, I'm gonna have to loosen a little bit, just to wiggle with this a little bit. Except this side seems like it needs to come up. I mean, it's almost a whole finger width there and very tight here. So yeah, I'm going to loosen those up. I'm going to play with this a little bit. 
I said it's uh yeah the bottom can come out oh yeah this can come down a little bit and that's I can come up a little bit it looks like so yeah I'm just going to loosen these bolts back up a little bit just to so I have some wiggle room to play with that and play with this until I get everything lined up and I'll tighten it back down and we'll see where we're at all right now everything's snug and not lined up because we can get it we got a 21 millimeter bolt on the top and then the nut is 22 millimeter and we just got to go as far as any of the tailgate reinforcements go this is by far the best on the market i think like i said these are beefed up hinges this whole thing is boxed in fabricated and sturdy you could mount pretty much anything including the tailgate including spare tire i mean from here you can put your oem tire holder on there if that's what you want to use we could just put our delete back on there and then we have a super beefed up tailgate just for having a super beefed up tailgate or Turn off road also has their own tire holder that works similar to that. However, it is adjustable. So we will be installing that in an upcoming video. But for now, I'm just going to put our tailgate back together, which means running our wire harness back through the door and out and reconnecting everything yes it's on there works good doors all put back together oops that, that just snaps in there got the sub back on there <laughs> i think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about the tailgate reinforcement, go ahead, let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know. If you know of a better tailgate reinforcement, please let me know about it. Because, uh, like I said, I think this is the best one that I've seen by far. But maybe there's one others that I've missed um, that you think are better. Let me know down below. If you are interested in picking one of these up, head over to eviltruck.com. I'll put links down to it below. You can pick those up. It's free delivery. They are in stock, so place an order and they'll be shipped out the following day on their way to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you next time.